Okay, we're going to try the summer one now, and I got a few colors I liked. And again, of course, this can be any color that you want. And we're just going to paint this up real quick. This is what, number three. So we have um, July 4th and spring and now summer. And then I think we have two more. We have fall which is a pumpkin patch, and then Christmas, which is just green Christmas trees. And let's see, let's just paint some more of this yellow here. Now this takes like, oh my gosh, such a small amount of paint. It's like, it's just a small amount. Normally I put, you know, a quarter size on my plate, but this is, gosh, this just takes like three drops. Except for maybe the white, because you gotta kind of go over that a couple of levels. And let's see, next color, let's do blue, dark blue. Let's put that here. I'm just kinda, I am really just doing this randomly, so I hope the colors turn out okay. I just grabbed a bunch of colors out of my cabinet. Okay, we're just gonna give this a shot and see if we can make them all match. That's half the fun of it. Again, if I don't like it, I would just paint back over it all in white and wait till it dries and paint it again. Let's see, let's do, mm -mm -mm. kind of got a shiny color here. I don't know what color, I guess it's kind of a pink. And it's shiny, what is it? Let's see, where is my, this is, co oh, it's color shift. So when you look at it, it'll change colors. It looks like maybe a little purplish too. So pink and purple, blended maybe. Like I said, I just grabbed a bunch of colors out of my cabinet. Thought, oh, I'm just gonna go with it. And let's try mm, green. And then what, what else do I have? Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's put green here next to the yellow. It's more of a brighter color, summery color. And, oh, you know, I think I have purple too. Maybe purple mixed with white make a lighter purple. I haven't even looked up a beach ball to see what colors they usually are, but, you know, people look at things as a whole, not, oops, individually. Went over the line a little bit, but that's okay. And let's see what else. Gotta get the purple out and let's make the surfboard Hmm, how about if we mix it with white and we make it a light blue? Do a light blue. Do I have a light? No, I don't have a light blue, but I have a dark blue, so we're just gonna mix the dark blue and the light uh, and the white. And we'll make a light blue. The surfboard would be really cute if it had like, mm, maybe some palm trees or something on it. That might be something worth adding actually. I mean, it's ours, so we can make it whatever color we want, can't we? Go up here, we can paint flowers or hearts or palm trees or palm leaves or leave it blank, make it stripes or plaid. Okay, let's see if I can get this to kind of all match up here. And I think for the stripe down the middle, hmm, I guess it should be yellow, right? Because it, I don't know much about surfboards. I don't know if it needs to be, the stripe in the middle needs to be the same as the outside. I'm just not sure. So, I think what we'll do is, we'll just make a dark blue. I'm kind of going over those lines a little bit, but I think the blue is soft enough that whatever I cover it with, it'll cover. Yeah, I think that looks good. Then let me get my liner brush. And I think we'll just go over this in blue. Why not? That yeah, is a thin little line. It's kind of like my stars on the July 4th one. They were so tiny and my old eyes just could not see them well enough. So I just made them white splotches. And I'm okay with that. 
just doesn't matter. Mm. Of course, I can't talk in these straight lines. Shoot, I can hardly talk in paint. That's kind of funny. Okay, got the line down the middle. And you know what? I am just going to take that light blue and kind of go over that one spot. I'm just not liking that very much. Okay. Alrighty. And let's see. Oh, the ball. Mm hmm. What color do we make that? We have pink, yellow, green, blue. Oh, I think I said purple. Let's try to mix a little purple with a little white. And we'll do a little light purple color. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And I don't know what color to put in the middle. Maybe, hmm, I'm just not sure. What color should I put in the middle here? I think everything else is kind of blue and yellow. Do we keep it on that mark? Maybe make it blue? Hmm. You know, I need to add, I need to smooth that down. It kind of looks a little blotchy. I didn't like that look. So, of course, now it's not exactly round. Um, let's make it... I don't know. You know, let's make it dark purple, something different. Different than what's on the ball. It's kind of thick, but it'll dry. Okay, so now we've got the ball and the surfboard. And let's see, the dog, I've got a dark brown. Got a dark brown and a kind of a light brown. So we'll make him brown. Now dogs are, of course, now painted all sorts of colorful colors. Get around the little lines here. You can kind of still see them under the dark brown if you cover the lines, but it's just easier if I try to kind of keep this part a little cleaner. Okay, and we'll make this ear a dark brown. And I think think the hair over his face will make dark brown too and the rest may be light brown. We'll give that a shot here in a second. Okay. And let's see. How about his nose here? And his face. And that's so cute. I gotta tell you, we have so many dogs. As you probably know, I think you might have heard them barking. <laughs> In one of these videos, if you haven't, you will. We have quite a few, all rescues. And let's see, let's do these guys up here in brown as well. And, hmm. Should we do his chin the same color? No, let's do his chin the other color. Okay, so let me look at the other brown. Um, let's see. Actually, since his body is gonna, since his ears are brown, we'll make the part of the body you can see brown. I was gonna switch, but forgot there was more dark brown here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Okay, and we'll make this side of him brown. And it kind of touches that ear, but that's all right. You can kind of still see the separation there. And if not, I can always outline him in black. Or the light brown, either one. Okay. So let's take the light brown. And let's do here... It's a little different color. I'm wondering if I should do 
Maybe his nose black. Maybe his outline's black. Hmm. I'm not sure. It actually looks like he's got a circle over his eye, too. So let me do that. We're going to make the circle over his eye white. I didn't even see that. That is so funny. We're just going to make it a little bigger than what they show here. And we'll use the light brown for... His nose, oh, I guess his nose should be black, but that's okay. Let's see what happens if we make it light brown. And the rest of him light brown. Yeah, that was kind of wet. That actually looks pretty good. I like that color. Okay. Um, let's see. So he's got a spot over his eye. And, hmm, there is a little spot here because I did not use the lines. That kind of looks a little odd. So I'm going to paint that a light brown as well. And then let's give him blue glasses. Mm, no. Let's make that purple glasses, because I think in the glasses, we will do like blue for like the sky. Okay. I really like this one. It's funny because there's so many different styles of these out there with the different pictures. You just have to find the ones you really like and what suits your, your decor or your life and Mine, of course, is animals. Okay. Mm, purple, and then we'll do, let's use this light blue again, the blue. We'll make up some light blue real quick. And we're gonna put, yeah, see how it was a little wet and it's kind of bleeding over, and that's okay too. If we have to, I'll go over it with another coat of blue here in a few minutes. So it looks kind of like, you know, the sky's in his glasses. Future's so bright and all that. And okay. Then I think on his the neckerchief. Let's use it's like a handkerchief or something around his neck. So we're gonna just use purple because it will stand out because the rest of him is so dark. I want it to be kind of brighter. I know it's a dark purple, but it'll work. And let's see. I used to have a dog that looked real similar to this. I think he might match a lot of kind of generic dogs out there. We've had a bunch of generic rescue dogs. They are awesome. All of them mutts. Well, some of them not mutts. Purebred rescues just happen to be purebred and ended up here. Okay. So that'll match his glasses. And he's got his little white patch over his eye. And let's make the floaty. Let's make the floaty green. Let's do a light green, though. Let me mix that with some white. And let's do a really light green. I kind of like that. Just something to show it's there. And it's funny, this one has some extra lines. I'm not quite sure what they're for. You might know if you see it. Mix a little more here. And... Can you hear my dog breathing? He's panting so loud. It is so hot here right now. We haven't had rain in a couple of months and it's been over 100 degrees. Last night they promised us rain and it went right around the house. We were so disappointed. Lots of good lightning though. Okay, so there's the light green. And let's use 
Mm -hmm. What color should we use? We got purple, blue, brown, pink. Should we use like pink and pink and yellow? Let's try pink. <laughs> Just because it's that color shift. So it oops, so went over the green. And that's okay. It came right up. And let's do this one pink. Let's see. Um, let's see this one pink, I think. Pink, I think. Okay, that went over the line too, but I'll just go back over that in green. Good. Oh, it came off. That's kind of nice. And paint that pink. And let's see. Yellow. Mm, no, let's do blue. Just for some different dark blue. And this one blue. <clears throat> Excuse me. With no rain comes all the dust and dirt in the air. And up here, we're going to do this. And, you know, I'm going to make this little doodad, the little air filler spot. We'll make it blue. Just because. Okay. And I think I need a little more green right here. And go back over that where I touched it and I think hmm what about I think that should be light brown maybe I wasn't sure if it should be pink because it's not really his mouth you know I'm gonna outline part of that in black I think that'll look better just because it's too many similar colors. So let's get out the black. Ooh. And the liner. Maybe. Okay, let's get the liner. And we're gonna make it kind of wet. We're gonna do a little kind of inky, inky paint. Okay, we're gonna see if this will work. Go down here. And his nose. Oops, kind of messed that one up, didn't I? That's okay. Let's paint his nose black. over the spots I went a little too far. The brush kind of flips sometimes, and, or flicks, so when it flicks, it kind of spreads the paint around. <laughs> Maybe that up there, a little bit like that. It's a little better. Okay, and let's do one thin line right here. It's his Where he's going into the tube. Okay. What do you think? I think that looks good. Nice and colorful. I like it. Okay, so now we've got our summer dog and surfboard and beach ball. And that looks really cute. So now summer's good. And on to the next.